Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do an invisible finish. So you will need your piece of crochet work. I'm demonstrating with a circular piece of work. You will need a pair of scissors and a darning needle. So first of all, I'm going to show you how um, most people would finish off this round in order to finish off a project. And that would be to do a slip stitch into the first chain of the round. And then what I would normally do is yarn over and pull through and then snip off the yarn. And this kind of leaves a little bit of a knobbly bit on your work. So I'm going to show you an alternative way to do this now. So if I just undo that stitch. So say for example, I have just come to the end of my row here. Instead of doing a slip stitch into the first stitch, I'm going to take my scissors and snip off the yarn. And I'm then going to pull that out of the work, like so. I'm then going to thread up my darning needle. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my darning needle into the stitch where I would ordinarily do my slip stitch. So I'm inserting my hook just underneath here and pulling this thread through and this will pull it closer, your last stitch towards your first stitch. Then what you want to do is we're, we're creating one of these loops just here. So we've just looped under the stitch and then what we want to do is loop into this last stitch. So you're going to pull it through there and then pull. And what you can see is that actually creates the same shape as what it has done all the way round so that it becomes more invisible. You want to keep pulling on that stitch until it's the same as the rest of them and then all you want to do is work that stitch or that end into your work to disguise that loose end. I would suggest that you go into the work and then back and then into the work again and that just makes sure that that loose end isn't going to come undone and then all you have left to do is snip off that bit there and there you have an invisible seam so you're not left with a knobbly bit on your work at the edge of your work. So I really hope you've enjoyed that handy little tip. If you did make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to keep up to date with all of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye!